My name is Kelly Fast and I work with NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office and with teams looking for asteroids that could come close to Earth. Now, what does it mean when you hear about an asteroid that's going to make a close approach to Earth? And what are you supposed to think when you hear that an asteroid is going to swing by Earth at 10 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon? Is that really close? Well, here's something that you can do at home to find out. All you need to do this is a basketball or a similar sized ball to be the Earth, a tennis ball or a similar sized ball to be the Moon, and finally, a grain of salt to be the asteroid. And even that is too large to represent the asteroids that tend to approach Earth on a fairly regular basis. So if the Earth were the size of a basketball and the moon were the size of a tennis ball, you'd have to spread them out 25 feet to correspond to what they'd actually look like in space. And you could do that outside or in your house. I'm going to try to do that in my house. Okay, so let's put our basketball, the Earth, at one end of the house, and let's walk it out. Okay, my foot, it, it's not quite a foot long, but I don't have to put them uh, end to end entirely, and so let's walk it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23, 24, 25. And here is where our moon goes. Okay, here's our moon. So where's our Earth? Wow. So if the Earth were the size of a basketball, the moon would be the size of a tennis ball, and they'd be 25 feet apart. And so what does that mean for a close approach? If somebody says that a close approach asteroid is going to come within 15 times the distance of the Earth to the Moon, that's 15 times this distance here. That would be a couple of blocks away. Okay, let's leave our Earth, the basketball here, and let's walk down and get that asteroid. So going back to my table, let's see. I'm gonna get that little grain of salt. Ah, okay. Let's see what happens here if it approaches the moon. Whew. Oh, look at that. Look how far away the Earth is from here. This grain of salt asteroid might be large compared to the asteroids we're talking about that regularly approach Earth, but it's about the right size to represent the asteroid responsible for the demise of the dinosaurs. Now let's say that this grain of salt asteroid that's too big uh, passes between the distance of the Earth to the moon. So what happens there? Okay, here we go. There it goes. Oh, and look, there's the Earth. And there's the moon. Space is pretty big. A close approach asteroid is really starting to get close maybe when it gets within like the distance of the weather satellites. And so to demonstrate that, I'm going to use snuggles. Okay, so here's our Earth. And we'll put snuggles here. All right, orbit the Earth snuggles. So if the Earth were the size of a basketball and the moon then would be the size of a tennis ball, it would be very far away, 25 feet away, like over my shoulder. And so an asteroid would have to approach a lot closer than that to be of concern. And we do want to know where asteroids are because we do want to know if they're going to approach really close. But if you hear about a close approach that's going to be many lunar distances away, that was still pretty far away because even our moon is pretty far away. If you have a question about close approach asteroids or planetary defense, leave a comment or use hashtag AskNASA.